How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to another weak spot guide. Now today we're going to be talking about the 705A. Uh, this doesn't have a lot of weak spots. <laughs> Let's say it outright. This thing has probably less weak spots than the Chief, than 279. But for some reason, I mean I guess because it's in the tech tree, people don't think it's OP at all. Yeah, you'll see in this video how <laughs> actually broken it is. Uh, but without further ado, let's go to Tank CG and take a look at the armor model. Okay, so here we are in tanks.gg and we have the armor model here. As you can see, it's about 300 millimeters for the upper hull. The turret is just a no-go for at least this gun with around about 256 pen, which is a decent standard pen for a tier 10. Um, yeah, if we change it to heat, the situation gets a little bit better, but not not a lot. So when this thing side scrapes, it's yeah, this is not a good a good sign, is it? You can't pen it here. You can't pen it anywhere. Nowhere for you to pen it. There is of course a chance that you can go through here, but it's very slim. Best place to pen it is underneath the gun, but still forty percent chance. So when this thing is firing against itself, you don't have a lot of options. Now there is an overmatch point over here, uh, which you, you you will see in the um, in the video. But this is tiny, and if you're further out, you're not going to be hitting this very reliably, like at all. And not to mention that when you're side scraping, even if you manage to pen this frontal plate, for example. So let's say that we switch to visual model for a second, and he's side scraping. Um, let's say that it's overdone a little bit um, about here. Like, oh, look, we can magically go through here now. But the chances are that this is now a wall here, and he's only exposing like a tiny amount. So the chance of you actually hitting this is stupidly low. And right where the wall would end, it just becomes an instant ricochet. This thing is the best side scraper in the game. There's no real questions about it. Um, you're going to need something with a lot of pen to be able to go through this. Yes, Yakpanzi 100 would make short work of this. As you can see, 420 heat goes quite nicely through uh, pretty much anywhere on this tank, and you will be slightly taller than it. So, yeah, even the turret, the turret just gets disintegrated, let's be honest. Like, it's just not a lot. That the Yagpan Z100 heat can't go through. But for everything else, like a 430U now with a 252 pen, it's just unpenable. And people complain about the Chief and the 279E. This thing is broken. <laughs> like the armor layout of this thing is just completely broken. It doesn't have a cupola at all. It, ju it just doesn't. And when you fire heat, Sure, you might be able to go through that about 55% of the time, but there'll be times where you just bounce randomly. And that's a tiny shot to hit. I will say that if you have 121 millimeter caliber gun or greater, so all your 122 caliber guns, they'll go straight through an overmatch um, this. So take that into consideration. If you are above it as well, um, you'll be able to shoot down on the engine deck or on top of the turret and pen it. But you need at least 122 or 121, not more than 120 is what I'm saying. So 50B, Cran, all of those, no chance. You're not going to overmatch it. If you go and face hug this thing in the Cran, this is what it looks like. It's not super reliable to be able to just go for it. You cannot overmatch the tank um, no matter where you go. So if you are facing this thing in a Cran, load gold and try and shoot here i mean there is a tiny spot here that you can be able to shoot but realistically you're going to be around about this height ish give or take you know um but yeah just go for the upper hole the upper plate and just hope for the best because there's not a lot that the crown can do because 300 pen is not really enough to go through this tank now against an e3 it becomes almost comical because you can go straight through the front of this tank nearly every time with AP. And if you fire premium, it's green. Uh, so yeah, even when it's side scraping, 
if it's side scraping and you can't see this part, don't aim for here, all right? And say that it's side scraping around the corner. Let's just put the turret back to, let's say it's side scraping around the corner and you cannot see this part here. So all of this is no go. You can just go straight through the turret most of the time. Obviously, it's exactly the same thing. It's a tiny spot to hit. However, because you have a big caliber gun and you are going to be roughly on the same level if you're on flat ground with a 705, this isn't too bad to hit. Um, because even if you go a bit low, one, there's a chance that you're going to pen this with 60% around here. And if you go a bit low, you're going to overmatch. So go for here, go for the right hand side around here, about 60%. Or underneath for about 70%. I wouldn't bother wasting your time with AP because it's not going to be able to go through uh, underneath. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're in this against, say you're in an E3, you see one of these side scraping, you're just going to have to load gold, or you get lucky and overmatch. Okay, so here we are in a training room with, of course, Silent, who is helping me out today uh, in the 705A. Of course, we are in the 430U. We have got the AP loaded at the moment, um, but we will move on to heat in a little bit. So straight away, the lower plate, yes, you can pen it. We know that. Um, no real, you know, ifs and buts about it. It isn't, you can get unlucky and low roll the pen, of course, and then you won't be able to pen it. Um, I believe the 430 gets, so yeah, you could low roll all the way down to 189. And in that case, yeah, you're gonna bounce, but most of the time, if you see one of these and you can shoot the lower plate, just shoot the lower plate, as we've already established. Um, now, for when it's side scraping, as you can see, we can't do anything. Just like in uh, the kind of armor overview, there's nothing we can shoot. Um, there is a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing here that, yes, we can potentially hit. One in a million, though. Um, that's what you can't really see in the uh, armor view, but that is where you aim. You aim roughly there. Like, it's a tiny pixel. Um, and hitting that, you've got to be quite lucky to be able to hit it. Um, it's also uh, the same thing because you can technically overmatch all of this. But one, you need to be taller than it. And two, you need to hit it. So. Even if you are taller than it, you still need to go and hit it, which is not an easy thing to do. So side scraping on this thing, you're just not going to happen. Now, as I said, this is all basically unpenetrable. Um, even, you know, up here, you just can't pen it. However, if it over angles a tiny bit, so let's say that, you know, he's angling, angling, angling until my uh, thing goes green, as you can see, we can now shoot there and it will go through the track and do damage. Um, however, you do need a good amount of pen to be able to do that. So, well, yes, you can, you know, shoot it here. Hopefully he's over angled a little bit more because then if you aim up a little bit, you can actually go through and do damage and track at the same time. Meaning that it's a lot easier. Obviously 250 pen on the 430 is not great um, for standard rounds, but 140 stuff like that you should be able to go through and track and do damage every single time and once you get one track done you can always go around the side um, or the rear of them and you know finish it off that way and just keep in perma tracked now another thing that i do want to mention is the underneath of the gun now you're going to have to be kind of close to be able to do this um, if we just load heat quickly you can go directly underneath and pen it there um, if you have 330, 340 heat. It's about a 50-50 chance, um, so it's not guaranteed. That was good timing. Uh, it's not guaranteed to go through, but it's there. Um, so, I mean, if you've got a high high enough pen, a uh, high enough pen, then you can go straight through it. The exact same thing works with this side here. You can go through it, but again, it's like a 50-50. All the way around the turret ring here and the other side here, as you can see when the pen marker shows, is also a 50-50. Um, it's completely 
throughout the entirety of 340 heat and 330 heat. Whether or not you get lucky, it's just down to RNG. Yeah. Okay, so here we are with the E3 now. And as you can see, we can uh, kind of just go through the upper plate even with regular rounds. It's about 50%, but if you aim a bit lower down, you can pen it more times than not, usually. Um, obviously, you can get unlucky and just never pen it. But yeah, it's a bit of RNG fest with the E3 against one of these if you're using standard rounds. However, if you use premium rounds, as you can see, it's green. Yeah. You can just go straight through the front of it. Okay, so if the 705A is side scraping like this um, and it's doing it properly, you're not really going to be able to pen it with standard AP rounds. Um, if he's bouncing the hole, then you might be able to get lucky and go underneath the turret and shoot the uh, upper hole and overmatch him like that. And you can get lucky there, but it's just not worth it, right? If you're in an E3, the best thing to do is to load gold and go straight through his turret. So what you have to do is just press 2, you load it, you think, ah, eh, we could go here. No, don't go there. Right. You just go here and straight through the turret. It's about a 70% chance. So, yeah. That's fun. Really enjoyable for him, right? So, let's say that you are a little bit above him. Um, as you can see here, it doesn't even have to be this much. Like, as long as you can see these engine, uh, sorry, engines, uh, these cupolas over here, you can actually just fire normal AP and it will overmatch all of this. Um, you do have to get a little bit lucky, um, obviously, because it is quite a small uh, spot to hit. As you can see, there's not loads of uh, potential. It's only this tiny bit here that you can actually hit. You can't overmatch it like an IS-3, for example, with this plate here. It's only this middle bit. Now, obviously, you do need 120 one or greater caliber gun to overmatch this top bit here um, just the exact same as the overmatch for the engine deck um, so keep that in mind if you don't have that you're a little bit mm, i mean you could just fire heat though and probably go straight through if you're above it anyway so it's not really too much of a problem um, and let's face it if you play in tier 10 and you're slightly above it you should be able to go through this even with standard rounds um, at least usually. So hopefully that was useful to you. Um, I showed you a few things, but there's not a lot you can do against it. It's a bit like the E3 in that respect. Um, everyone loves to hate on the Chief and the 279, and realistically, some of the most defensive tanks in the game, like the 705 and the E3, are far more well-armored than like the Chief. You can't really say that the mouse is well-armored because... It has the cheeks. You can pen the cheeks really reliably. Even against heat, the 705A and the uh, the E3, you just can't pen them, um, which is an issue. And I think they need to have some form of cupola, um, especially the E3. The E3 gets some stupid cupola. Maybe next week I'll do the E3. Um, but yeah, there's no cupola on the 705A, so you can't use that. Um, you need a 122 if you want to overmatch it, um, which you can do, obviously, if you're a little bit taller than it, because um, you can pen the engine deck or on the uh, cupolas on the roof. And yeah, hopefully that was somewhat useful. <laughs> and just remember, if a 705A is over angling, just go straight through the side.